Hi, my name is Jim Wishus and I'm the FRP Division Manager here at Minoxavent and we're going to be talking today about doing gel coat top coating. Uh, similar in some aspects to the wet layup joint which we've covered in another video, however distinctly different because it is not the same material. Gel coat is used in above ground applications where color choice is preferable and also UV protection in outdoor applications is required. Gel coat includes UV inhibitors which enables you to install FRP say in wastewater treatment plants, odor control duct, or any outdoor duct runs where extended exposure to sunlight might cause degradation. So that's where the gel coat comes into play. Now the gel coat is a little different than the resin that you would use for the actual wet layup joint. That was covered in a previous video and <clears throat> that is done with your uh, vinyl ester or acrylic resin for structural joints with the ASTM D3982 button wrap joint where we supply all of the glass mat the thermoset vinyl ester or acrylic resin uh, to wet this mat out and structurally join this FRP duct. Now after this resin sets up, <clears throat> that is when you would go ahead and apply your gel coat. Now the bulk of the gel coat is going to be factory applied except for where your joint is and that's where you're going to apply it and that's what we're going to cover today. So your gel coat is going to be in a completely separate container, okay? All gel coat starts out as white in color, that's your base color, and it can be tinted to any color on the RAL color chart. Uh, and today we have with us both white and gray, so you can see ex examples of that. And this is a thermoset resin, very similar to the structural resin, however it is not the same. There are many times where we have confusion where gel coat is inadvertently used for the structural joint uh, and that is not acceptable. So it's, you have to make sure that you're using your structural resin for the joint, your gel coat resin for the top coat. Now at this point, we do need to talk about health and safety because as you can see, these are flammable materials, as is the catalyst that you're going to use to get the thermoset resin to set up. So therefore, you do need fire protection. It's pretty obvious, but uh, uh, this is a thermoset resin. That means it's set by heat heat is going to be generated as well as the fact that in the liquid form this material is flammable. So having a fire extinguisher on hand, never a bad idea. Speaking of safety, it's important to pay attention to the MSD sheets provided in every job packet for each project. In it you have your sheets on the various resins and catalysts. You also have your mixing guide which tells you how much percentages of catalyst to put with resin, whether it be your wet layup joint or your top coat. Proper skin and eye protection is required when using any thermoset resin. <clears throat> now what we're going to do today is we're going to actually catalyze some gray gel coat and we're going to do that in a small mixing bucket. Now, just like the joint resin, you're only going to mix a small amount at a time that you can use because once you catalyze that resin, it is going to solidify. Once your joint is ready to top coat, you're going to take your gel coat out. And as you can see, this particular gel coat is gray and you're going to pour a small amount into your mixing bucket. Okay, so we've poured about a pint of our liquid gel coat in the container, and we're going to move this gel coat out of the way so to avoid any mishaps, and now it's time to add your catalyst. 
The idea behind mixing the catalyst and resin is number one, not to mix more than you can use at any given time because just like the button wrap resin, uh, it will set up and it only has a certain amount of mixing time. Now there's not exactly rocket science to this. It is temperature dependent. The hotter it is, the faster it'll set up. The more catalyst you put in, the faster it'll set up. That's why we offer that rough guide <coughs> to tell you to mix somewhere between 1% to 3% of catalyst per the quantity of resin. We're going to add a small amount of catalyst to this resin today, and again, it's not exact, but for about 16 ounces, you're going to go with about two-thirds of an ounce of catalyst, which is all of that little splash. You mix the catalyst into the resin. There won't be a color change, as you see in the wet layup joint resin, but you do want to make sure that it is thoroughly mixed. Now, what's going on right now inside that container is there are promoters in the top coat, just like in the wet layup joint resin. And once that catalyst has uh, intermixed with those promoters, it's gonna start to get hot. And that heat is what's gonna turn this liquid resin into solid resin. And this solid resin is completely hard. It's not a paint, it's not a colorant, it is actually thermoset resin that once catalyzed and set is irreversible. So your ductwork, your joint, can now have the top coat applied. At this point, you are going to treat it just like paint, with the exception of you have a limited working time. So you can use a paintbrush, you can use a roller, uh, I myself prefer a roller because it's a little bit quicker than doing by hand, but you're simply going to apply it no different than you would paint. And that's the basic process of doing a gel coat, top coat. Once you've applied the top coat gel coat to the finished joint area, <clears throat> this liquid gel coat will solidify just as you saw in the other bucket and just like the wet layup joint. And once cured, it gives you the complete UV protection and continuous color on the entire duct system. Once the joint is done and you are done for the day, you're going to uh, take care of all of your unused products and disposing in environmentally sound ways, and you're going to store your gel coat in an environmentally controlled area where the gel coat will not be subjected to extreme cold or extreme heat uh, <clears throat> and can be reused the next day. It is very important not to confuse the use of gel coat with the wet layup joint resin as one is for structural, that's your wet layup resin, and one is for top coating, uh, which cannot be interchanged with your structural resin. I thank you very much. I hope you uh, learned something from this. Have a good day.